you look around your neighborhood, you're going to see a standard architectural style product, but there are so many more different styles of products that are available. And when you consider that your roof line in today's market, it seems, it could be 60 to 70 percent of the exterior of your home. We spend a lot of time looking at, at our front doors and, and the brickwork, and then sometimes we forget about looking at the roof line. And you can really change the appearance of your house based on the style of shingle that you put up uh, up on the roof. Okay. So now, as you talk about style, there's a lot of different shingles on the market. Mm -hmm. And you could kind of go through some of the samples? Sure. Yeah, I'd love to. The first one we're going to look at is just what I mentioned before. It's a standard architectural style shingle. It's, uh, it's got you know, a nice granule drop to it. You're going to see it uh, pretty prevalent to most of the neighborhoods when you're driving through. Um, you can see some different uh, lights and darks, some of the different colors that are available to pull out the color of your house. Um, this is the most popular shingle. It's probably about 90% of the shingle market today. Okay. The next one that I'm going to show you is, is really meant to somewhat replicate a cedar look. It's called our presidential line, but you're going to notice a unique cutout for all the different shingles, and it gives you a wider open patterns. Again, it's got some nice granule drops to it. Um, this one does require um, a unique installation pattern. So going back to that certified or that qualified contractor, those are going to be very key in some of these shingles that I'm going to show you. If you wanted something along the lines of a slate look, this is, uh, you know, a lot of what we see, um, if you think in the terms of a good, better, best offering, this kind of falls into that better offering. It's got a nice shadow line. Um, it's got a unique granule drop on all the different tabs. So you're going to see, again, it'll pull out the different colors that might be in your house in the exterior. Sure. Then we have a, a really heavyweight product. This product actually weighs 425 pounds a square. And it's a full two-layered product with this um, extra third layer on it to give it a triple layered look. So it gives you some nice shadow lines up on the roof and looks like a premium slate type of a product once it's installed. Okay. And I think the important factor here is too is you're seeing the product up close. The difference is it's really going to be up on your roof. So that becomes kind of an important issue. It is. And I think one of the things, the key parts of uh, as you're working through the process is be able to get addresses of, of houses where these products are installed. Talk to your contractor. If they've installed the product before, they probably have some addresses that you can go look at and see the product from the road or from the driveway, which is where you're constantly going to be looking at it from. Based on that aspect, kind of once the selection's made and you've made your decision to move forward, kind of what's the process that should be, you know, taken into consideration for going through with this? Okay. Well, if you've if you found a quality contractor, somebody that you're confident or comfortable with, um, make sure you can communicate with them, be able to have conversations with them, talk to them about different options. You're going to choose a shingle. You're going to choose a color and a style. 